Happy Navratri, everyone. So today you've got me. My name is Rajni. I am Nisha's best, 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 best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do all her voiceovers for today. Um, we are starting with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. So it's quite a full coverage foundation. You don't need a lot. There she goes. She's just going to dab it on and work it into the skin. Um, and Nisha doesn't really like to use concealer. So you don't really seem to see her using that. This is a really full coverage foundation as well. So you're probably not going to need it. So here we've got the P. Louise base and this is in shade 7. The staying power on this is absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked these out, please do check them out. And uh, she's just applying that with a flat shader brush and just kind of blending it in. Um, she's taken another fluffy brush and she's just kind of creating a little bit of a haze just in the crease, just underneath. Um, and that will kind of just buff uh, through. Now she's taking feline cold pencil and i know right she hasn't even told me that this is feline cold pencil but i'm telling you it's feline cold pencil okay now she's taking inglot now this is a brown eye shadow and it's from the palette and she's just going to smudge that in just at the root of the lashes getting all of the color down close to the lashes and then just working it slightly up into the crease just to give a little bit more depth and definition to the eye and just to create a little bit of a halo eye there and now she's going to take a big big fluffy brush and she's just going to blend that all out and that's really important just to kind of blend those lines out keeping everything looking really really nice and really soft so that it's not harsh around any of the edges she's taking gone back with that flat shader brush and back underneath with that dark brown so Nisha's eyes are really chocolatey brown and they almost look quite wet so any kind of look like this looks absolutely amazing it's a little bit grungy it's a little bit lived in it's a little bit dirty who doesn't like a bit of dirt and um she will have taken some black now and she's just popping that again to the root of the lashes and that's just making the eye color just pop just that little bit more she's got such such sexy eyes and this looks absolutely amazing on her she's taken a flat shader brush now a slightly smaller one that i can see and she's gone into the gold now this is like an antique gold and she's popping it under the center of the lids and what this will do is bring in that light and make sure that um you know that the look is a little bit more uh three-dimensional and it's just a little bit more interesting than just that kind of regular smoky eye um again she's taken that flat the sorry the fluffy shader brush now and she's just blending it out and popping that gold underneath repeating the same on the other eye now what i can see is she's actually taken a little bit of the brown eyeshadow and she's creating a bit more depth just into the outer corner of the eye and this is just going to help to um re kind of establish that color again because sometimes when you do blending work you can lose some of that color now she's taking her favorite Illamasqua product for the brows. She's got amazing brows anyway. She doesn't need to do a lot of work like me who has to get them microbladed and filled in all the time. So Nisha's just taking a angled brush from what I can see and she's just working that product through the brows, pulling it down towards the kind of tail of the brow. Oh, okay. She's doing mascara. Okay. Colossal, sensational. Uh, this is Maybelline. And she's going to put lots of this on. Yeah, that's actually how fast she does it in real life. Like everything, not just mascara. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, she looks like she's about to murder someone here. But actually what she's going to do is contour her cheeks. Um, so she's using, I think, what is a MAC sculpting, sculpting powder. Um, and again, with a nice kind of um, pointed sort of brush just to get into the, into the cheekbone area. She's pulling it right up into the hairline. Again, that's a really good technique just to make it really look soft and diffused so that it doesn't look like it's um, over the top back down through the cheekbones yes girl and she's going in with highlighter we all love a bit of highlighter get that highlighter on babes you've got to look like a disco ball by the end of it because if you don't look like a disco ball i'm going to sort you out 
Okay, and finally, it's time for lipstick. This is a Huda Beauty matte lipstick. This kind of looks like a little bit similar to the color of her jumper, actually. Kind of like that pinky, sort of brown, mauve tone there. Um, and she's not actually applying it with any structure. She's just kind of stamping it into the lift to give almost like a bit of a stained, um, lived-in look. Okay, who told you to burst out dancing? Yep, get that bindi on, that's right. And get the nutani on. Now watch it, guys. Just go watch for the nakra. Just wait, wait, wait. There we go, there we go. See it? Mm, okay. Okay, here we go. Now bangles are going on. Chen, chen, chen. And she, oh, look, there we go. Typical YouTuber wearing pyjamas underneath the jolly. Here we go, guys. A little bit more nakre, nakre for you. Now what's she doing? Some kind of ABBA dance? Okay, a bit of a hair flick going on there. More nakre. Okay, and a bye nakre. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Check it out. Happy Navratri. Do bow fine luggage. Mari mamra bo seni shate channu na kairo.